Rubidium. Rubidium was named after the Latin word rubidius, meaning deepest red. This refers to the red colored flame it produces when burned. This highly reactive element ignites on contact with air. On contact with water, it reacts vigorously, producing hydrogen gas and a lot of heat. Rubidium is not often concentrated in particular minerals, but instead is spread in small amounts through a wide range of minerals, such as lucite and polysite. The pure metal is sourced mainly from the mineral lepidolite. Another mineral called rubicline has even more rubidium in it, but it's very rare. Rubidium atoms are sensitive to light and can be used in photoelectric cells, devices that convert light energy into electricity, and night vision equipment. This element has radioactive forms, which can be used to measure the age of rocks. When injected into a patient's body, rubidium targets tumors, which show up clearly on a PET scan. Rubidium is also used by light-sensitive electronics, called photomultipliers, and in making insulators for high-voltage cables and some special types of glass. About a quarter of all rubidium atoms are radioactive. Slowly, over time, they break down into strontium atoms. Comparing the atoms of these elements in a rock shows when that mineral was formed. Older rocks have less rubidium and more strontium in them. Cesium. As the most radioactive metal on Earth, cesium explodes into flames if in contact with air or water. Therefore, pure cesium is stored in a sealed glass tube from which all the air has been sucked out. This element is rare, and most of it is extracted from the mineral polysite. Its name means sky blue, and refers to the color of cesium's flame when burning. Cesium is used in atomic clocks, which measure time down to a billionth of a second. These clocks are so accurate that they would gain or lose no more than one second every 300 years. Francium. Francium is the rarest natural element on Earth. Scientists think there may be just 1.1 ounce, or 30 grams, of francium in Earth's rocks. Francium atoms are created when radioactive elements break down. Francium can be extracted from radioactive ores, such as thorite and uranite, both of which contain tiny amounts of this element. Even so, to date, the largest sample of the metal made contained only 300,000 atoms and lasted only a few days. Francium has no known uses outside of research.